Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. <sighs> Have one of those days, one of those days. But I went to calm my mind after one of those days, and I went to the beer store, Bloom Brew, over in Bloomsburg, renovating, oh, getting new crap in, really great stuff. Picked up a few beers. One of the beers I picked up was from the Captain Lawrence Brewing Company from New York. Love it. Great. Let's see. I haven't had a Captain Lawrence brew in absolutely forever. They're from Elmsford, New York. The last Captain Lawrence beer that I had, as far as I know, was the uh, Captain's Reserve IPA, which uh, that was a long time ago, but I loved that beer. Absolutely loved that beer. So here we got the can. Can goodness. Aluminum, everyone loves that. 7.5 alcohol by volume, India Pale Ale. This is a North uh, New England IPA, dry hop with secret, uh, Vic Secret and Citra Hops, it says. So I'm going to get into it. I'm going to crack this thing open. Here's the label of Captain Lawrence. There we go. And they also had another one. I didn't pick it up, but they also had another one, the, uh, oh, some slushy beer or something. Soft serve. It was called soft serve. I was going to pick it up, but there was other ones to be had, and it was a pina colada beer, and I'm not a really big fan of pina colada. I'm not a real big fan of pineapple and coconut. I just, you know, the coconut better than the pineapple. I'll just say that. But since there was other beers to be had, and I didn't have that much money, I picked up these ones. What be going down? Whoa. Okay, here it is. I don't have the big light on, but I have a light on. And it is just fresh squeezed orange juice, kind of just nice, hazy, haze for days, unclear for years, up to, up to, even up to the candle. Can't really see through it, but it, it makes it crazy illuminated. Shines up the whole place. Wow, pretty. All right, let's get some aroma on this one. The Captain Lawrence Tears, what is it? Tears of Green. Okay. I'm excited to actually have a Captain Lawrence beer after so long. Shout out to Joe at the Beer Patrol. Mm. Okay. With this one, I'm not sure what Vic Secret gives you. I, I think it's a New Zealand hop. I, I'm not really sure. Because I am getting white grape. I don't know. Slight white grape. But I'm getting grapefruit. Like tons of grapefruit. Nice floral characters. Bit of earthiness. A lot of white. Like white pepper. Really peppery. Tangerine. A little bit of mango. Oh. Wow. You're getting a nice vanilla character coming up through here, too. Hey, what's up? It's a nice uh, little vanilla character. A little lactose sweetness coming through here now. Tangerine dream all day, man. Mm, it, almost, it almost has that kind of orange cream sickle smell, too. Mixing in there now, too. Ugh. That is a, it is a tropical fruit bomb, and that nice, creamy, sweet, kind of vanilla, lactose kind of tank. Oh, uh, let's do this. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Ah. Mmm. Wow. It's not as um, sweet and creamy as I thought it would be, but it's really really bold with these like twisting turning really oily piffy kind of um, juice vibes again there's that white grape kind of in there too mixing around with all that grapefruit tangerine a little bit of mango wow orange a little hit of orange rind no oh, no i didn't even know that I don't know all those Captain Marvel things and stuff. 
but there's actually a little bit of an assertive bitterness in the back end, kind of balancing everything else out. I, oh. mm. Yeah, nice, nice peppery, spicy bitterness, earthy bitterness in the back. It doesn't go pine, just a nice little, really mm, earthy, spicy bitterness in the background. Tons of those, like, really, wow. Lots of these <laughs> really pithy, oily hops working away. It's really, really nice. It's got a nice little tannic tone. It's like drying out the palate with those oils. Like I said, it's got the, all that tangerine, grapefruit, little white grape. The even really like fleshy mango, maybe even a little peach in there too, kind of wafting around, a little, little stone fruit action going on. Not, I don't really get the passion fruit, anything like that, but a little bit of mango for sure. And papaya, maybe. Oh, just going around. The body is a medium body. Could be a little bit thicker for a New, a New, a New England IPA, though. But And it could be sweeter, too, for a New England IPA. That being said, that has to be said. Um, But I really love these bright, assertive, oily hop characters. I like that nice little bitterness in the back. I like the fact that it's creamy. It has a little bit of that kind of oat sweetness, a little bit of a lactose sweetness, but not too much. I think everything's balanced really well with this one. 7.5% alcohol by volume. Drinks like a champ. Absolute champ. Really enjoying this. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. And I don't even know how, I, unfortunately, I don't know how old this is. This could be a bit on the old side, or it could be new. I don't see a canning date on anything. Unfortunately, but some bitch. I don't know. I don't know if I've seen Joe review this one yet um, on the Beer Patrol. I know he does Western New York Wednesday, Wednesdays. I don't think I've seen this one on there. Um, maybe he would know exactly when this was canned. I mean, if it's just a one-off release, that kind of thing. But this is an absolutely stonker of a beer. Really, really good. Mmm. I like the fact that these these hops are kind of like punching you around them in your mouth. Oh, it's uh, called, uh, the Full Moon Diabolical Mysticism by Immortal. Oh, 1992, I think. Can't remember. Yeah, this is Unholy Forces of Evil. It is bombastic this one has a lot of bright bright characters that is tropical fruit notes again the oils they're bump they're they're bashing it around in your palate they're really bright they're really oily they're like just just drawing your palate out even more with that especially with that spicy earthy bitterness in the back but you still have this nice delectable enjoyable malt base too giving you those kind of oats giving you a little bit of that lactose it kind of it just kind of offsets everything in the perfect way, and so it doesn't get too dry, too clawing, too bitey. But it's not too sweet, you know what I mean? It's really balanced really well. I know a lot of people would be like, "Well, New England IPA shouldn't really have any bitterness at all to speak of," you know what I mean? But this thing is just a, uh, what I like. This is what I like. I'm gonna give this one a solid nine out of ten all day long. I understand it might not be for everybody in the New England IPA category because I know I've had some that are like completely just sweet as hell. There's nothing. Nothing in the background but just sweetness. This has a lot going on. This has a really firm, spicy bitterness, and those hop oils are just drying your palate out and bump, it's just smacking your tongue around. So you have to be ready for that. This is a delicious beer. Mm. I'm really glad that Captain Lawrence didn't let me down again. This is the second IPA I've had from them. That is just beautiful. So excellent, excellent stuff. Actually, I was going to say, if it wasn't a New England, if it didn't say New England IPA, I would give this a 9.5. You know what I mean? Because it's that damn good. So anyway, this one, Paul from PA Brew News. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining me with this one for the Captain Lawrence uh, Tears of Green. 7.30 tonight on this channel, Maniacs Meat Podcast will be live. We were doing a la carta and images in the coven. And Slasher Sunday's coming up too. So this has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers. Mm -hmm.
see you in like two hours or something. Bye-bye.